Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. This is lecture 28 and of C programming tutorials. In this module, we will learn structures and unions. So let's get started. Let me open code blocks and you can see here file, new, empty file. And as usual, this is uh, lecture number 28. So I'll be saving this as and I'll give 28 dot structures and unions example one. So I just saved the file. Now in C language we have the concept of arrays which we have already learnt it. So arrays are collection of similar data types. Sometimes we might need to store a collection of different data types into a single variable. So that's where we need uh, structures. So structures are defined as collection of uh, different data types. So let's see how to declare it and let's see how to use them. Let's get started. So include stdio.h and include conio.h void main and this is where program execution starts. Now what I'll do is I'll declare a struct. This is how we declare a struct. Struct, you can see that it got highlighted and I'll write here employee and See, automatically uh, code blocks is adding this semicolon here. So, semi struct declaration should end with a semicolon. And the name of the struct is employee. And inside this, we can write variables of different types. So, normally, employee will have uh, employee will have in tidy, and employee will have uh, name uh, care of name of uh, let's take twenty characters, and uh, age um, in uh, age. So now this struct employee is having three data types. So three data types we have, which is of uh, integer ID and uh, three variables, name twenty and age. Now what we'll do is we'll create an um, we'll create an object for this struct, and we'll create a variable for the struct. Let's say this. Now all we have to do is struct employee emp. Now I'll write here and uh, printf enter id now uh, i'll just store it so how to store uh, a struct variable is same it because it's an integer the first one percentile d comma and ampersand emp dot id so this is how we need to store the value into the first variable and now printf enter name and as usual we can use canf percentile s yes, comma ampersand um, emp dot name and the last one we have is printf and we'll see here enter enter age and we'll store it into this so scanf percentile because it's integer I'll put percentile d comma ampersand emp dot age so we're done with uh, reading the three values now let's try to see how we can print them so same we'll use like this uh, struct variable dot in inside variable struct variable dot inside variable so now we'll print it so how to print them so printf employee id colon percentile d and name colon percentile yes and age colon percentile d in case of first percentile d we need to print um, emp dot id emp dot name emp dot age so let's see if we get the output or not. So we're all set, we are reading a value. We declared a struct and we're reading three value. We are reading the values into the struct variable and we are trying to print it. So let's see if it works or not. I'm just writing get ch just to ensure that in other editors uh, we can see the output. So, so now let's save it and build the code. You can see um, the code is getting built and there are no errors or warnings. Let's run the code. Now it's asking me to enter ID. So let me enter one, enter name, Meghnath, enter age 30. Now you can see here it's printing employee ID, name, age. So this is how uh, we need to declare a struct. So basically a struct is a collection of different data types and how to access them is using a struct. This is how we declare a variable for a struct and uh, this is how we access elements of a struct and uh, we can print the values. Now let's try to understand um, uh, one more point here. Let's try to learn what will be the size of this employee struct. So let's see here now. I'll just try to print the size of the struct. 
so printf and I'll write here size um, uh, struct size is equal to in memory how many bytes will take let's see here percentile D comma there is a keyword size of I'll just put employee right so um, so I'm just adding employee let's see what it will return and I'm saving it and let's see if we get any errors I'll fix it so we just got an error here saying like first use this okay now what I'll do is I'll just put here okay EMP let's see if it if it uh, works so I'm saving it and I ju I'll just build it there are no errors no warnings let's run the code so I'm just writing ID Meghnath and 30 now you can see here the size of the structure is showing us 28 the size of the structure is showing us 28 now what we'll do is let's try to understand now I'll change this uh, now how it's giving 28 is let's try to understand this the structure is having ID integer ID which is taking four bytes in my in this compiler the compiler that I'm using uh, integer ID is taking us four bytes and that depends the size depends on compiler now and for the name it's taking one byte each character so there are 20 characters it's taking 20 bytes 20 bytes and age again it's integer so it's taking four bytes so four bytes now that's why you can see here that the size of this we're getting output as uh, 28 right now now union is also same there's no much difference between structures and unions so the memory wise how it stores is the struct will take the size of um, now if I change this code let's say I'll um, I'll I'll change this code to union let's see what happens now so I'm just changing it to union and I'm just changing it to union now let's see how how we get the output let's save it and build it and let's run the code I'm writing ID 1 I'm writing make that I'm writing age 30 now you can see here I'm uh, I'm not getting all the values and you can also see here the size of struct is um, the size of struct is 20 and I'm not getting um, here ID I'm getting the answer name I'm not getting the answer age I'm getting the answer so I'm not getting um, uh, the name right so what did we notice from this is uh, the union union object cannot hold all the values and the size of union is the size of biggest uh, variable in it the size of the union will be the size of biggest variable in it and it cannot hold all the variable although we don't use uh, unions much so what you have to know is now the only difference that you have to know is so structure is collection of different data types same is the case with union but the size of struct size of struct is equal to sum of all variables in it si sum of uh, sum of size of size of um, all variables in it whereas the size of union size of union is equal to size of biggest biggest variable in it okay so now now let's try to see one simple example with um, now now I'll just uh, create one more example and uh, I'll just change it to struct and let's change it to struct now uh, yeah this is all fine I'll just add slashes so you can always get this code from github as usual so you can actually um, you can actually go to this um, go to this link and uh, you can get the code so which I will be uploading uploading now let's see one more example right so let's save it it's 28 structures and unions example 2 so I'll create one more empty file and uh, let's save it and I'm giving the file name 28 dot structures and unions example 2 now see here guys um, let me increase the font size so include stdiwo.h and include conivo.h and now I'll declare a struct struct um, the data I'm just writing some value data and it's actually closing it so I can write here in tidy and short um, day age and um, and you can see long or uh, let's put a uh, not short let's put care care uh, gender 
and I'll put here um, and care of uh, country let's take 10 now you can you can guess if it's a union let's just work on size okay so wide main we have already seen the example now if I print the size of this ideally I'm expecting that it'll be a uh, 4 plus 1 5 plus 10 15 so let's see what will be the size of this so I'll just create an object uh, structure data and D and size of D and I'll put here I'll put here um, get CH okay so let's see what will be the size of this um, uh, data I'm expecting it to be 15 let's save it and build it and you can see there is one warning uh, let's try to see what is that warning actually uh, is uh, no semicolon at the end of uh, okay we missed to put semicolon here okay let's save it and build it there are no errors no warnings let's run the code and uh, it's taking some time oh okay we're not printing the size as of now so so no output so let's try to print this so print f and uh, size colon percentile d double quotes comma and put brackets here let's save it and build it there are no errors warnings let's run the code you can see the size is 16 because uh, uh, because okay it's an integer and it's a char so it's giving one uh, more than that now what we'll do is I'll just change it to uh, union let's see the difference I'm expecting the size to be 10 so I'm just changing it to union and let's save it let's save it and build it and no errors no warnings let's run the code you can see it's printing as 12 so it's taking one or two uh, more uh, characters than the required size but that's okay so you can notice here that the size of struct is actually um, um, more or less uh, equal to the size of all the elements whereas the size of union is um, actually uh, nearly equal to the value the biggest element in this right so just keep that in mind just keep these points in mind and remember the size of integers and um, it depends on the compiler that you're using for learning C language right so once again here is a summary structure is collection of different data types and how do you access them is using a uh, struct variable dot uh, inside variables and union is also same like collection of different data types but the size of struct equal to sum of size of all the variables in it uh, plus one or two bytes will be there and size of union equal to sum of uh, biggest variables in it some of the size of the biggest variable in it plus one or two bytes will be there so and in struct you can store all the values uh, but whereas union because of memory constraint uh, some values will um, will and you cannot see the values as expected right so although we don't use unions much we will be using um, struct frequently right so um, that's all for now in this module in the next module we will learn how to work with files and how to save details in in a file and how to retrieve the data from the files which is um, really interesting and uh, thank you and um, as usual uh, let me upload these files uh, in uh, github let's go back and and uh, click on this um, upload files and uh, let me upload the files so I can see here go to D drive my programs and uh, you can see here um, structures and unions example one dot C I need to upload the dot C file in structures and unions I'm holding a control button example two let's open and you can see it's uploading files both got uploaded commit changes so that's all for now and see you in the next module thank you